My name is Mary. I went to college at Mercyhurst in the early 1940s. I met Tom, the love of my life, during a dance that was held at an old farmhouse. Our relationship grew, and even my parents saw that Tom was a wonderful young man. Our only problem was that Tom was a Protestant, and my family was very devout Catholic. One day, we were walking in Wintergreen Gorge when Tom dropped to his knees and asked me to marry him. It was the happiest time of my life. We would be together forever. But World War II would put a halt to our plans. Tom went to fight in Europe. We wrote each other every day. Tom was on the front line and his letters were slow in coming. One day I received the letter that I always feared. Tom was dead. He was blown apart on the battlefield. He was never coming home. In my sorrow, I dedicated my life to God as a nun of the Sisters of Mercy. I prayed daily for Tom's soul to ease my sorrow and loneliness. Years later, a soldier came to visit me at the chapel. I was amazed to see Tom standing there, hurt but safe. He was as handsome as ever. We took a walk and made some time to get to know each other again. Tom told me he wished to marry me, but he would not convert to be a Catholic. I was very angry. He wanted me to give up my faith for him, but my faith was all I had for so long. The conflict was too much. It drove me mad. I ran away to be alone. I prayed in the chapel every day and night that God would give me an answer, but God was silent. I was alone in my land, so I gave up. I took off the engagement ring that Tom gave me, and I put it on the finger of the baby Jesus statue. I let the madness take me. I went to my room and violently killed myself. But I could not escape my madness, even in death. The years passed, and both my ring and soul lingered in the chapel. Until the mid-60s came, a young couple fell in love in my chapel. The young man proposed marriage, but he had no ring, so the girl said no. No matter what he promised, she refused until he gave her a ring. He found a ring, but it was mine. He stole my ring from the statue and gave it to her. She said yes because of my ring. It was not hers. So one day she was driving her car by Wintergreen Gorge. I followed her there. I pushed a car into her path. It was a horrible accident. I was glad. She deserved to die. She stole my ring, so I killed her. Nobody can take my ring and get away with it. She got what she deserved. My spirit still abides at Mercyhurst College. Students see me all the time. I keep searching the campus looking for Tom. My ring was buried so no one else would get hurt, but I keep bringing it back home where it belongs, on the hand of baby Jesus. Leave it alone for your own good.